I have this 8-track here. I was playing in my player and I noticed that no sound was coming out. So this is the floaters 8-track. And so I'm like, why is no sound coming out? And I could see the tape just hanging there. You can see there's that one piece just hanging there. So I'm like, okay, so I want to see if I could take this apart, and which I did, but had a little couple little issues, and I'll show you what I mean. So on the back side here, I'll show you if you can see it. On the back side, you can see there's one one hole. There's like a little tab in there which you have to basically put a little hobby screwdriver in and press down. But there was also two on the bottom I did not see. You can kind of see remnants of that, but I did not realize there was two in the bottom, which needs to be done the same thing. You know, push on the tab down and then it should pop free. So I accidentally, you know, I'll open it up for you. Right now it's open. Hold on a minute, it's stuck a little bit. There we go. So I accidentally busted the two tabs. So the two bottom tabs are busted off. You can see that one's busted and this one's busted. This is the one I saw and was able to let's see if we can see that better. Was able to pop it open. So basically I just used this little hobby screwdriver. Really small screwdriver. And you could put it in the hole and just pry it down a little bit and you'll hear it like click. So I should have did the same thing on the bottom two holes on the other side of this. But again, I didn't realize that there was another two on the bottom. I guess I should have did a little more research, but that's okay. And then basically I took my, a regular screwdriver and put it in the front here and continue to gently pry up the tape cassette until I had two halves. And basically this was it, just came, a, came, a, came off and moved it like that. So as you can see that it really came apart here. It came apart at the metal splice or metal uh, tab. You can see that so. I'm thinking that should be a fairly easy fix. I've seen a couple people online selling, you know, replacement parts and everything like that. But you can also see the the foam is completely deteriorated. You can see that. It's, look at that. And so that'll have to be replaced as well. So I'm going to replace the, the foam and then buy a new metal tab and splice it together. And it looks like maybe I have to do a little work here. So I'll give it a try and have a little fun. But again, this is the Floaters 8-track tape and wanted to see about repairing it. Thank you.